So a few days ago, I made a video about the Hive anti-cheat. And since that video, a ton of other creators have made their input on the Hive hacking problems, and the Hive itself has also responded to the hacker problem. In today's video, I want to go over what I think the real reason for the, there being so many hackers on the Hive, and also give a little update to the things that I messed up or didn't say correctly in the last video about the anti-cheat. So let's head right into today's video. So before you guys all go to the comments and say, oh my gosh, Potato Pie made a video on this yesterday, Greg made a video on this a few days ago, I'm aware. I am aware of the creators making their videos. However, I wanted to give my thoughts on everything and update everyone of what I said wrong for my audience. So before you all say you you copied these people, there is a, a situation on the server and I wanted to make my thoughts and feedback on it. So yeah, please don't comment that because I promise it will be different than their videos because I have my own thoughts and opinions too. So I want to give a few updates and corrections to what I said in my anti-cheat video first. And the first thing is, I said that the suggestion or, or my suggestion for fixing the anti-cheat problem and that would be hiring a specific anti-cheat developer team which i found out recently they do actually end up having an anti-cheat development team that does work on a day-to-day -day basis to update the anti-cheat so you may be wondering if it's updating the anti-cheat every day why is the why are people flying around and using reach and why are they not being caught if it's been a problem for so long and the reason behind it is actually because people are making specific clients for the Hive to avoid the Hive's anti-cheat. Since the Hive is a very big server, it people will specifically make clients to avoid it. And it is a big problem that the Hive developers face and are continuing to work on and improve on that. But they are not going to give up, I assure you of that. It is their job after all. So since the hackers make their own things to avoid the Hive's anti-cheat, that basically is the reason why they can't detect people who are doing reach because their clients are built around that and built around the Hive's anti-cheat so then the Hive can't detect it. The core problem with IP banning has to do with not only VPNs. VPNs can very quickly get around IP bans. And if you're using a VPN, you can make a new account in five minutes. So it doesn't really completely solve the problem. But the biggest problem with IP banning is the fact that people can get fake IPs and can also change IPs very quickly. And they're also very often reset and you don't always have the same IP in certain places in certain situations. If someone gets a new IP in the future and their IP ends up being one that's banned on the Hive, they'd be banned from the Hive for no reason. So they have to be very careful about that. Obviously, the biggest solution to the hacker problem would be an anti-cheat that kicks hackers automatically so then all the staff don't have to worry about doing it. You know, obviously that would be the best case scenario because then, you know, it will just even if they do spend the time to make a new account, they'll just get banned by the anti-cheat. However, that is not easy. Not easier said than done. And also, since the hackers will just or the hacking client makers will continue to find ways to work around that and add new things to their anti-cheat or to that to avoid the anti-cheat. Another major problem has to do with all of the auto clickers and closet cheaters on the hive who aren't blatantly flying around doing the obvious hacks but are very subtly hacking and you know those people just the auto clickers and all them. Most people suggest to add a is this person bee hopping? I don't know that was kind of weird. But like I was saying, most people suggest to add a CPS cap at around 20 to stop that. And if anyone's getting a higher CPS than 20 by other than like drag clicking or whatever, but if you're not absolutely smashing your mouse with maximum frustration and killing it, then it's probably very unlikely that you're getting 20 CPS. Maybe like 16, 17 if you're like really good at it or you know, you're, it, you're, it's really important to you. But like 20, the Hive's reasoning for not having a cap at around 20 or 25 CPS for whatever or whatever they end up deciding to do is because just because you're getting that high CPS doesn't necessarily mean you're auto clicking. You can actually use, I know this is going to sound crazy, but you can actually use an electric toothbrush to get that much CPS and that isn't actually against the rules. I know it's crazy, but it is the reasoning and you can't guarantee someone is auto clicking and there are a lot of false bans and it's 
honestly, it's worse to not ban- even though it's really bad to not ban someone. It's worse to have a false ban than to not ban someone, for sure. So, th they really don't want- they really want to avoid any false bans they can, and make sure they don't ban someone who is using a toothbrush as their auto clicker. And I think the final misconception from the community is that the Hive allows people to hack on other accounts. They think, hey, this person hacked on this account, we'll ban this account, they can go hack on the other account, and you know, that's- obviously the hacking is a problem, but like, you know, we're not gonna ban the person. Like I said earlier, it actually has to do with the IP problem and being able to avoid it. So people, the Hive isn't okay, but for anyone that thinks that, the Hive isn't actually okay with individual hackers. They do want to ban all the people who hack multiple times and continue to make new accounts and new IPs. It's not like, oh, okay, we won't ban them. They do want to, however, the problem has to do with the IP thing. So it, that is actually not the case for anyone who thinks that. So now I wanna go over the reasons why I believe there are so many hackers on the Hive and what I think the real cause of the problem is. So for starters, content creation on the Hive is the biggest clearly more than any other server on Minecraft Bedrock. And you know, even though Cubecraft pulls more players, the Hive content creation compared to it is so much bigger and has just the biggest community of content creators by far. And that means hackers can get views on making hacking videos as well, which is an incentive to hack because they want to get views as well. If they see YouTubers get views, why can't they get views by hacking? So that is a huge incentive because, you know, everyone likes views. Views are cool. So that's a big reason to try and hack on the server. The second reason that I think hacking is such a big problem on the server has to do with the lack of updates and new things. A few months ago, when the Hive was popping out updates, there were hackers, obviously, but there really weren't as many hackers as there are right now. The hackers have ramped up to a whole nother level with the lack of updates because people are getting bored. People are impatient. A ton of people that I know are getting bored of the Hive and just saying, hey, I don't play the Hive anymore because there's no updates, it's getting boring. And for hackers, it's the case is the same thing. Oh, there's an email. How do, how do I avoid this here? I didn't. Whatever. <laughs> A ton of people, part of my Discord server and my community, cough, join the Discord server, link in the description, I have been getting bored of the Hive for the lack of updates as well. And it would make sense when the Hive doesn't have a lot of, have a lot of updates, it's been months, people think that there's no updates coming anytime soon, they see Cubecraft passing the Hive, they think the Hive is basically done with updates. For any reason that you can imagine, people are getting bored and that is the main reason I think that hacking has been a problem. With the lack of updates, people are mainly playing Sky Wars, which is the easiest game to hack on. You can't really hack very much in Murder Mystery, you know? It's, it's not really the same thing. So you won't find many hackers in there, if any. But with lack of updates, people are playing Treasure Wars, people are playing Sky Wars, which are both PvP game modes and very easy to hack in, which is the biggest reason I think for the hacker, for all the hackers and the big problem on the server. And reason number four why I think there have been so many hackers has just been because of the community and the amount of people complaining about hackers. And this video kind of ties into the situation as well and spreading more light to it. But with all the people who are getting frustrated with the hackers and all the people who are making videos about hacking or video about, well, ha about the hacking problem are just bringing more attention to it, which means more hackers have the idea of doing it. With some positive light, like the sun <laughs> to all this situation the replay system is coming soon and it will make it a ton easier for moderators to ban people and take care of hackers with replay ideas that is a big first step but when the actual feature comes out that'll be a huge step in moderation and will make a huge difference in removing hackers from the server so i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to like subscribe and crush the bell uh, to be notified for videos and i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you in the next one bye guys